Hello everyone, this is Zambi. Let us talk about Python data types dictionary this time. So that is Python data types dictionary. Yeah. 3.7 is the Python version that we are using. Control A, Control C, right click, rename, rename here home pound sign or hashtag markdown right so that's a heading of what we're going to discuss today how do you create an empty dictionary so type d here it says dictionary as you can see you might have thought okay what if it's it looks like a set no it's not a set it's a dictionary okay so num let's go ahead and create a a dictionary here I'm gonna do this control a control C copy paste this right so one is one two is two three is three four is four five is five six is six right so let me do type num is dictionary I can also go ahead and uh, do the other one let me do this one here well uh, this is better yeah. Okay. So integer one is the key name. One, two, three, four, five, six. All the key names are, are all the keys are integer types. All the strings, uh, string values are of, I mean, all the values are of string type. Similar valid examples are these. Uh, D zero is a dictionary where one, one, two, two. D one is one. To the third type is the value itself is a list. D2 is another dictionary where one, two, third is a list, fourth is a tuple. So you can have nested data types inside a dictionary as values. So let's say type D0, type D1, type D2. Yeah, they are all in dictionary. So how do you access values here? Accessing values. Mm, let me do this. Accessing values, yep. So num dot keys. But before that, let's uh, index them. Okay, how do you index them? Num one, so first one came on num. Uh, two. Second one came out now. Uh, here I'm mentioning the key, okay, not the index. Uh, let's say if I had, I think I said index, okay, that's, that's my bad. Let me go ahead and uh, define you one more. I'll just say XD is bad is Bruce okay and comma soup is Clark now XD I will say zero now what happens so you can't actually index uh, a key value pair itself there is a way of uh, enumerating through them but not how we do with list or tuple. So you have to mention the key to get the value. Bat, right? So this is what I meant. Dictionary name, and you mention the key, will return the value of key from the given dictionary dict, D-I-C-T. What if you want to get all the keys, a list of all the keys, num.keys, uh, I get num.values there. Yeah, there you get num.values. Right, so this and this. So dictionary.keys returns all the keys 
dictionary dot values returns all the values. Makes sense. What if you want to get both of them? Number items that will get a key value pair. Uh, as you can see, each pair is a list. I'm sorry, uh, it's an entire, the whole thing is a list and inside that you have tuple. So each pair will be uh, put in a tuple and it will be returned to you. Then you can also do, um, instead of doing like this, uh, trying to access an item, right? So let's say I said, what I had here, let me take this one here, copy paste this here again so that you guys can see in the same screen. Let me also increase the font here a bit. All right, I, a bit more maybe. Yep, enter and now earlier I did this. So there is dictionary name and the key it returned. You can also do num.get one same thing let me do this num dot mm, nine nine yeah it throws an error num dot get nine nine it doesn't do anything it doesn't return anything because that is not there so that's the difference so if you don't want to get any error or end up getting an error right you want to play it safe you might want to use this or you want to get an error if it's not there so that you can handle that error more cleverly saying, okay, I got an error, uh, it means there's nothing, right? But here you're not getting any output if it's not there. So your application will not actually know whether the particular item that you are trying to retrieve from a dictionary um, is fetched or not, or is actually there or not here using the error, you will come to know whether it was there or not. And if it was not there, uh, or that is why you got an error, right? So because it was not there, you got an error. So both of them have their use cases. So here we go. I can also um, you know, return, but for example, num dot, let's say get, say one, this one comes up, right? What if say num dot get 99, so it returned none. So is, let me say control A, control C, and I said is none, true. So it returns none, right? So you can handle that better. But what if you don't want to return none? Now you want to return, hey, is that possible? Yep, there you go. So num.get's actual syntax is, let me do this here. Okay, so dictionary.get key name and default is none. So if the key is not there, it, re it will return None. In short, you can just put something num dot get ninety nine, and here say um, that is not found. Yeah. And based on that, you can take some action. You can put an if statement, conditional statement, stating uh, which will look for this message and do something else. So let's print out our dictionary again. Num is this. What if I want to update uh, the dictionary? Here, let's say num. Um, usually, if you want to retrieve an item, let's say num five here, you do this, right? What if you want to add a new item? Num space nine is not there. So what I'm gonna do is n one n nine. So now I'm gonna print num again. As you can see here, uh, it got added. What if you want to update it? Huh? 
as you can see nine the spelling of nine is not correct so I would do one again so it will update yeah so it got updated here so this is what we did so dictionary key name equals value adds key value pair to a dictionary if the key already exists then the value of the key will be replaced with the newly provided value so let me go ahead and uh, create a, another dictionary here the key is an integer and the value is its square uh, 2 into 2 is 4 3 into 3 is 9 4 by 4 into 4 is 16 5 into 5 is 25 the square of 5 is 25 yeah so I'm going to say type sq here print di dictionary sq dot pop let's do 2 here so I want to remove a key value pair where the key is 2 so if I want to pop out an item out of dictionary I just have to say dictionary dot pop then the key name then okay what if I want to pop this out as well sq dot pop 4 yep and I can put sq here as you can see the original dictionary has been modified now so 11395 25 are there let's print out our previous dictionary zero what if we what if we want to clear out dic uh, dictionary d zero dot clear now let's print d zero it's empty now so just like list dot clear clears out a list dictionary dot clear clears out a dictionary So let's rewrite our SQ again because we want to do some more operations. I create a SQ dot copy. It created a copy. So if you want to copy a dictionary, you don't want to alter the original dictionary and you want to create a copy, do some operations. This is how you do it. Let's say my set. I will go ahead and define a set here and I will say 11, 22, 33, 44, 55. And I will say type my set. Okay, so that's a set. Yeah, so what if I do dict from keys my set? There you go. So you created a dictionary out of a set where the values of set are now the keys of the new dictionary but these uh, keys have a value of none because we have not given a uh, value so what if we want to add um, some value a default value right let's see wow okay so now all of them have a value of wow let's go ahead and make that a list now my list type my list as you can see hmm okay brackets make a difference list now will I be able to create a dictionary out of it k e y s my list yes and the same way I can go ahead and put a default value wow so you can convert a list or a set to a dictionary like this Let's go ahead and create a tuple. My tap 
11, 22, 33, 44, 55. Type is so it's tuple as you can see then let's do it from from keys my tup yep let's also add a default value here for all of these keys yes this is what we discussed just now dictionary dot from keys keys op uh, optionally you can give a value as well creates a dictionary from a set of given keys with none as their value if a value is give not given you can also create a dictionary with a mutable object like a list the way we did it here my list so you can also add uh, values uh, to uh, a dictionary so let's go ahead and uh, create a, something called value is 9 so what is let me go ahead and print what is this value so it's a list containing one element I'm gonna say new underscore D is as a new dictionary dict dot from keys from keys my set value name underscore d yep now you will see here value dot append you'll see the magic here right now you see the value so value got updated usually this is how we add items to a list right so this is a list i added one more item to it now see here the dictionary also has that element so what really happened is when we added this value uh, a dictionary uh, whose name is value and created a new dictionary out of it we actually mapped this here so we created a correlation where if the original value that is original list gets modified in any way the dictionary which has been made out of this value will also get updated let me do something else value.append i'll say hey value this and new underscore d is this yep 33 is a key nine one hey are its values so if the provided value is mutable and when that is updated or changed then the dictionary tool will get updated changed accordingly you can avoid that with set comprehensions that we will look at later when we look at comprehensions so this is still my set value is nine let's look at them lightly value is nine new underscore d is yeah it's a key list value for key in my set now we have not covered comprehensions yet if this is going over your head don't worry about it we will talk about that later now let me go ahead and do value dot append nine value this is a new value new underscore d is that remains same okay what if i do 99 here yeah okay let me control a control c here let me do 99 now the new value is this new underscore d is still the same how it was right so let me go ahead and uh, put some theory 
properties of keys. So you can't put just put anything as keys. There are some limitations to it. Only one entry per key is allowed. That means you can have multiple values for a key, but you can't have multiple key per value. Meaning a key can be a string, uh, it can be an integer, or a tuple, but not strings, integers, or tuples. So it can be a tuple, but it can't be uh, like tuples. Tuple, as you know, can contain elements. So let's have a look at that. A key must be immutable. That means strings, numbers, or two, uh, tuples, they are immutables. So you can have immutable entries as keys, but not uh, anything else. A key will be unique per dictionary. If a key is updated twice, then the last update will be applied. Let's say knowingly or unknowingly, you try to add a key value pair to a dictionary. If the key value pair already exists, it will be overwritten. So this is num len num. So what did it do? It calculated the length of a dictionary. What if I say string num? It converted the dictionary to a string. I would say len Yep, that is much better. Let's define a few more dictionaries here. So I have one one two four three nine four sixteen five twenty five. So key is uh, I mean value is the square of key or the key is square root of you know value. D three has key value pair where key and values are strings. D four has keys which are strings and values which are integers. The other way around is for D5. So let's see SQ dot update. Um, no, let's do D5. D5 dot update SQ. So what I'm trying to do here is update the key value pairs of SQ to the SQ into D5, right? So let's see what happens to D5. D5 1122 is already there. Now I added 39, 416, and 525s. So what really happened here? It updated the values uh, of these keys. 1, 1, 2, and 2. The keys are common. So SQ and D5 both have uh, two keys, 1 and 2. But their values are different in both of them. So when I do d5.updateSQ, this is what happened. It updated the values of those keys. If the keys already, you know, if the keys were already there, right? So let me see SQ here, right? So this is d5, this is SQ, same. Now let's do SQ dot set default. Three here. Yeah. So what does this do? Now let's do uh, one more thing. Uh, one more time. SQ dot set default. I'll say six. Let me put print SQ here. Hmm, what happened? So one, two, three, uh, nine but six was not there. So it set a default value of none. So if the key is already there, uh, let's say in SQ, uh, the key is already uh, there, three, right? Mm, so it didn't do anything. But if the key was not there, it will add that key and set a default of none as the value. What if I wanna do this, SQ 
dot set default seven four nine yeah so sq is this so what really happened key was not there 749 so uh, the key 7 was not there so it added the key value pair 749 to this dictionary so by default set default takes two uh, values key optional uh, key should be there that is this is key and the value is optional if the value is not given it will be considered as none why is this useful well if you try to update a dictionary by default what happens is if the key is present it will overwrite that you don't want to do that so what you don't you may not want to do that in some cases in those cases you use uh, dictionary dict dot set default and give a key value pair so if the key is present it will not do anything if the key is not there it will add the key value pair I hope that was clear. So here we go. Code markdown. Yeah. Tick dot set default key and square brackets default value gets a keys value if present and if absent, then inserts the key with the default given value. If a default value is not given, then none is set as the default value. Okay, so this is our SQ we already printed. Uh, what if I want to do a pop item and I say this 7449 so the last item got popped out then it the next last item is six none yep so dictionary dot pop item works like list dot pop it pops out the last item Nothing fancy there. So let's check out membership. Yeah, one in SQ. Is it true? So one is in SQ. Two not in SQ. False because two is in SQ. I will say 22 not in SQ. True because 22 is not a valid key here in SQ. 22 in sq oops 22 in sq false because 22 is not there so let me go ahead and um, give you kind of a table that you guys can look at every now and then when you guys have time i uh, just want to brush it up so here it is dictionary creates a blank a small dictionary uh, dic dictionary dot keys retrieves all the keys of a dictionary dictionary dot values retrieves all the values dictionary dot items retrieves key value pair in a tuple packet right so dictionary dot get key comma default none retrieves the keys value of a given dictionary if key is not present then returns none dictionary uh, in square bracket key retrieves the keys value of a given dictionary but if the key is not there it will throw an error so that is why you use get, G-E-D, get. Dictionary.pop, the key name, removes and returns a key value pair from a given dictionary item. Uh, Dictionary.clear, empties the given dictionary. Dictionary.copy, copies a dictionary. Dictionary.from keys, where you, it takes two values, key, uh, two arguments, keys, and an optional uh, argument value, or parameter, creates a dictionary from all the given keys with their value as none if no value is given yep dictionary dot update dictionary one that is another dictionary so it will update dictionary one with the key values of dictionary x so the first dictionary the dictionary zero will get updated with the key value pairs of dictionary one dictionary dot set default Again, key with the default value is inserts a key into a dictionary with none as its value if no default value is given. 
just like you know you when you're trying to add an item uh, key value pair to a dictionary if it already exists it will override it so you don't want to do that if you don't want to do that then you will go ahead and use this dictionary dot pop item works like a list dot pop removes or pops out the last item from the dictionary delete dictionary key uh, key in square brackets deletes a key value pair from the dictionary so let's go ahead and do that sq is this i want to delete del sq 5 and then i want to print sq as well yep there you go it's gone now let's uh, talk about building dictionary that too big let me do here okay Put another one yep okay so team that's uh oops. this is the smallest dictionary then type team yep there you go Let's go ahead and do team Batman is Bruce Wayne. And then I'm going to print team. So this is how you add an item to a dictionary. Let's do add, let's add a few more. One more flash is Barry team. Let's, uh, what if we add another one here? Whom else should we add? I'm gonna say Superman. What's his actual name? Clark. Yep, so there we go. This is how you add items to a dictionary. Okay, so then we wanna kick out Batman from the team. He's not a team player. So let's kick him out, right? There we have just two members. Then how do you convert a dictionary to a list? We have SQ here. And then I will say sq.items that's dictionary items then what i will do here is list sq dot items there you go it created a list out of key value pairs from the dictionary so each one is a tuple here each element is a tuple inside that you have a key value pair of the dead dictionary or you know the original dictionary how do you convert list to a dictionary i think we did it but let's have a look at it again list to dictionary and the proper heading let's say d6 is one what is one two D seven is one two three. Yeah, you say a zip. D seven, D six. Hmm. Well, that doesn't look right. So what? Let's convert it to a list. List Z zip D seven D six. There we go then we take that and make it to a dictionary all right there we go it looks a bit you know silly i mean you do this and then you do this do this still a lot better than you know you creating your own function where it does this for you i 
think i will i mean if you want to yeah this is all in one step i think that's all i had for dictionary so thank you for tuning in you have a great one take care